my name's Lisa and today me and Andy are going out for a bit of a stroll in Dartmoor. Um, I'm recovering from serious life-changing injuries and I'm also visually impaired and this video is to show you that you don't have to be a prisoner in your own home. We're going to show you how we do it and how we manage uh, with the good help of my mate Andy. Thank you. <laughs> Yeah, well, it's a wrap. <laughs> Get it in the can. So this is uh, relatively easy to walk on because it's very smooth and it's green. And, and of course, Andy will tell me if there's any major hazards coming up. So this is quite easy walking at the moment. So if, if your guide, when you're out with them, does a bit of a recce and says, OK, this is nice, smooth, uh, grassy, grassy, well grazed turf that you're going over and you're going to be able to manage to walk on it you know, quite well to a, get for a given amount of time. Make it nice and easy for yourself for the first time out. Um, I can see quite a lot but what I can't do is distinguish depths very well or if everything's the same colour then if there's no contrast I don't really know it's there if you know what I mean. So it's, yeah. it's quite uh, quite difficult to do that. But this sort of terrain that we're on at the moment is actually an old bridle path, isn't it? Yeah, uh, yeah, it looks like so, it, yeah. So uh, that's what we're walking up at the moment. And it's quite quite easy going. You know, and I'm I'm not using a push chair like I did last time, because that was really hard work, but I've got my cane out ready for any obstacles and uh, I'm, I'm also using a walking pole and the other thing the cane and the walking pole do is they let other people know that I'm visually impaired which is quite important It's a bit slippery underfoot, you can hear that. I know it's slippery underfoot because it's dry and it's been dusty. And um, so I'm much more careful. I definitely make sure I've got three points of contact before, I, well, actually two points of contact before I lift the other foot up. So, so, and I also, because it's, it's stony, I also make sure I do a bit of sort of high knee. So I'm not gonna catch my toe on anything going down because it's harder to go down than it is to go up. Right, we've got to get over a bridge now, but I don't know whether we can get on it or not, so uh, I'm just going to have a little scout. I've left Lisa up there, she's going to stay there where she is, she's not going to walk around. And uh, I just want to see if I can get over this bridge. Yeah, not a problem. There's even a choice of a little stones going across as well. So it's either that or the easier way, that bridge over there. So um, I'll bring her down here and she can have the choice. So let's see what happens. Yeah, there's a drop in front of you now and it's a bit muddy and slidey. All right, okay. All right you got it? Yeah, it's a Feel it. So this is what I do right in front so I've got a triangle in front I've got the cane so I can feel what's going on behind it I know where I'm standing this is my support right in front so I've got that point of contact there that's it and now I just pick my feet up because this is all like loose uh, loose gravel I suppose yeah. Smoothed off. There's, there's a, a bit of a big stone there. Big stone there. So that's it. So I'm using a cane in the standard way, you know, sweeping with it. But it's a bit more difficult because you, you can't. Yeah, there's a bit of a drop there. Yeah. 
So this one, this one for depth and stability, this one for feeling the terrain. Yeah. <laughs> and pick your feet up. That's it. So so kind of do the high knees thing. You know when you're you you're out running they say high knees. Do that, pick your feet up because there's nothing worse than catching your foot on something and then sprawling out on something like this. Because it's not uh, yeah. getting a bit more looser now. Yeah. Only a little bit. Right. right, we're here at the river, the stream, or brook, whatever you want to call it. You've got a choice. Can you see that bridge over there? Yeah. It's an ordinary bridge. You've seen them before, no? or them stones. Can you see them stones? Yeah, the stepping stones. So we're going to go for the stepping stones. Right. Because okay. it's something unusual, something different. We've done bridges, we did bridges on the last video. So we went across a little bridge. But this one, we're gonna do the stepping stones. So this is gonna be, I'm gonna to have to trust Andy really, really, really well. So we can get two of us on each stone. So as far as I can tell, <laughs> that's what I- I'll go in the water. <laughs> well, that's all right. Yeah, then. don't worry about me. So. I'm going to need one stick for stability, one stick for feeling where I am. That's it. And, that, right. and, that, and that's what I'm going to do. Can you see the, yeah. the start of it? Yeah. Just to the right of that muck. So, and that one's a slopey, bit of a slopey one. Yeah. But it's dry, it's not slippery. Okay. Whoa. And there's little stones in between the next one. Right, so, so the thing I've got to do is work out how far, what sort of angle this stone is. So I know that it's going up and it plateaus here. So this one's going down, there's something in here for me to tread on. I think if the water was higher, I'd have to take a bigger step. Which, now what I'm going to do is, is put my stick in, wedge it in there. I felt where I'm going, and now I'm going to take a big leap of faith and think, oh, that's sort of a bit of a stretch. <laughs> and bring that one up. And oh, that's in the water, and that's got stuck. So next one, next one's easier because it's closer. Still a bit of a slope though on the right-hand one. Right, I'm going for the. It's all, it's all not, it. it's all dry, and it's I, none of it's slippery. Yeah, that's so I'm making ooh, wobbles this. I'm making sure that I've definitely got the place where I'm going. I can feel that's only whether about, it's going up or down, yeah, how a, big it is. It's wide but it's not long. Yeah, okay. But shortly after that is a lot as a big one. Alright, so it's about right. eight, nine inches so long. I've plunged this stick in the water now and I've got a good this is this is supporting me. Right? I've got that. And it's not wobbly. <laughs> you sure? This is it. No, it's not wobbly. It's me that's wobbly. Alright, and that's it. And there's a little one here that's really dark. Yeah, okay. it's round, it is. And it's wobbly. Moves. It moves. So you know what? I'm I'm gonna wedge this stick in again because I don't want it yeah, you know, I don't want it to if it moves just where I'm poking it with my stick. You could bypass it. If I tread on it, then I'm gonna so if it moves then you can get over it and get over it. That's it, like that. Oh this is a bit more uh, Big one, that is. That's all right. It's a big one. Yeah, but there's a bit of a step on the on the stone, okay. like, just tiny. Right, we got that. But you see, there's no contrast, so I can't tell until I'm on it. I'm going to feel with my feet. So there's two more here. So I'm going to do the same thing. Wedge my stick in nice and steady. So that one's more of a it's just a sort of like a V shape, isn't it? Yeah. Is it wobbly? Wedge my stick again. I've got one there that's so I don't crush my ankle. Right. 
I'll take a big ooh. You got <laughs> take a zone, take a zone. Right. There's there's so my this. wet feet in the water. <laughs> I know this, they're not wet. This is a big, big, big step. See, You're I'm nearly not, there I'm, though. I'm not going to be able to wait. No more than a, above your laces, I should imagine. That's all. Where my foot is not going to get caught, or anything like that. That's one. That's it. This one will move. I'm going to wedge my stick in, my foot down there, really sleep, and find this one. Put that one. That's it. And I'm going to do the same thing again. See. Oh, that's a dry one, isn't it? It's only tiny, that. Does it move? I'll go for that. There you go. Oh, it does move. Oh, bloody hell. <laughs> oh, don't take, take your time now. <laughs> no, so a bit of panic came in then. Yeah. <laughs> when it moves. You don't want to go on anything that moves. Yeah. Oh, that's it. Oh, I'm quite relieved that we're yeah. out there. Oh, well it's done. Good. You know, if you can do it, then you know other people can do That's this sort it. of thing you as well. Just gotta, you do have to take your time yeah. and concentrate and make sure you've got a good, good, solid point of contact yeah. with your with your with your walking pole, um, and use your cane to find where you are. That's yeah, it. to make sure you know, you've got you know yeah, before you take the leap. Yeah. And the other thing is make sure that there's somebody. I mean, if this was rushing a rushing torrent of water, then I wouldn't have done that. No, of course. Um, but if there's a bridge, we, you know, just use the bridge. I know we didn't, but we're showing you how to go across something, you know, different. But, but, but I'm here because Andy's taken me out. We've done this thing time and time again in the past. I could see then, so I know what I'm doing, but, you know, don't take a risk. Don't do this for... Don't do what we just did, but if there's a bridge, basically, yeah, yeah. so use the bridge if you can. But if you if you have to use the stepping stones, then that's the way to do it. Or turn back. If or you turn can't. back. Yeah. If you can't. Yeah. That's it. There's no shame in turning back. No, you know? that's right. Yeah. Who wants the mountain rescue to come out? Yeah. Hmm. There you are. That was easy bit. <laughs> we gotta we gotta go up there now. That's all right. Yeah. At least I'm not gonna get wet going up there unless it rains. Up there. Okay. There you go. I'm going to take my jacket off now, I think. You're going to wash your pots as well. Oh, yeah, that's right, yeah. yeah I'm going to take my yeah. burger off while he's washing his pots and have a bit of a rest. Yeah. I'm going to dump that down there. Uh, go and sit down. The yeah, get ready for the hill. Have a drink. Something like that, innit? Yeah, that's it. Right, okay. Good, all right. Right, I'm going to do my thing and you can have a sit down or whatever you want to do. Yeah.
Let's crack on. Okay, so when we well, hopefully we'll be at the top of the hill between three quarters of an hour and an hour, you know. It's not far, but it's uh, not too difficult terrain so far. But uh, when we get to the top, Andy's got to get his torch out to read the instructions for my tent because I can't, I can't actually put it up myself because uh, I can't kneel on the ground because I've had my knee replaced. So I can't walk on my knees. Um, so Andy's got to put my tent up. Different one to last time, but last time I had the push chair to uh, push along with all my, all my kit in it. But this time I'm carrying it, so it's got to be a lot lighter. Consequently, I've bought a tent that I can't put up by myself. <laughs> so poor Andy's got to put that for me. That's another good reason for having, if you've got injuries and you need somebody to compensate for those injuries, you know. Yeah, so, yeah, that's it, yeah. And that's what he's here for. Yeah, bloody slave. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you'd be able to put up your bloody tent, man. <laughs> well, I did it all right last time, but not this time. No, is it the same one as last time? No, is it, it isn't. It's a different one. Last time it was a, a sort of really, really poor version of a dome tent I had. It's uh, held together with bits of string and gaffer tape and, yeah. and safety pins. But this one's the one I used to take out backpacking and cycle touring. So it's a bit different. It's, it's very lightweight, but it's a lot more difficult to get into. And as you say, I have to kneel, I have to be able to squat or kneel on the ground. And I'm not really very good at doing that. Right, yeah. I'm gonna stop now because I've got to concentrate on what I'm doing. Yeah, there's a couple of rocks coming up on the ground there. Okay. Not too big, they're all right. Yeah, like lift your feet up, sort yeah, of thing. Yeah, your feet up. Nice, uh, it's it. like somebody's mowed a path up here. It is, yeah. It's, uh, it's very nice. It's, it is very nice, yeah. You get the occasional sort of um, rock coming up through the ground. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. But there's, there doesn't appear to be any little little dippies. I mean, last time there were so many obstacles, and it was so hard to do. I could have probably pushed the pushchair up here. Yeah. But uh, last time it was really, really hard. I thought I was glad I did it, but yeah, definitely, uh, definitely stone coming up. Wasn't uh, it's only little. Well. Okay. That's yeah. it. So I'm definitely glad that uh, I'm carrying carrying it this time. I, think yeah. I feel much better. I've been training yeah. for it for about well since the last video we did. Yeah. So I've been trying up, but as I said, I've had pneumonia in between, which uh, makes it very slow going. Which yeah. I don't think is a bad thing because I don't want to fall over. Yeah. <laughs> but. Uh, yeah. Puff like a cart horse, you know. Little step coming up. Okay. Let's see. So it there's I think there's plenty of false summits on this as well. You know, to me yeah. it doesn't look like I don't know how big that thingy is on the top of the hill. It is massive. Oh right, <coughs> okay. We've got a bit of a way to go then. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, well, it's all right, yeah. you know. Right, obstacle. Yeah, obstacle coming up, that's Ooh, yes, it. that is an obstacle. Yeah. We got it. That's it. There's another stone yeah. coming up, a bit flat. Nice, so nice contrasting stones. The little booby traps are the ones that are sort of like camouflaged into the ground. Yeah. Like lumps and dips and yeah. Divots and whatnot. Yeah. But any of those things, you know, Andy's going to warn me, and uh, we can do a bit of a. If it's really rough, he'll do a bit yeah. of a recce for me. Yeah, there's so, a bit, so, bit coming so, up, a bit of gravel. This is the sort of thing where I just pick my feet up, do a bit of high knees, make sure I've got a good point of contact with my stick in front of me, not to one side, so it forms a triangle, you know.
bank coming up with a bit of dirt. Could be a bit slidey. Yeah. Test it out if you're not sure with your foot. Make sure that it's not slippery. Yeah. No, that's a, that's the thing. You can feel. You can any any person who's visually visually impaired can feel whether it's going to be slippery with their foot. You should have footwear that you can feel what you're doing. I mean, um, these are boots that I wear all, all the time. You know. They're steel toe cap boots. They are. They're not uh, hiking boots. No, they're just my ordinary boots that I wear every day. You know. Yeah. Um, I don't. Because I wear boots, because if there's nothing worse, I mean, I know two people who've had, who are visually impaired, who've broken their toes. And I think, why would you wear sandals? You know, yeah. <laughs> if you can't see so, properly. Yeah, you know, why it. not wear something good? And even indoors, I've got like indoor boots that I wear as slippers. They've got little zips up the side and their furry lining, but they're definitely boots they're actually outdoor shoes but they're the boots that I wear indoors yeah. and and they give me ankles a bit of stability as well so because you can turn your ankles on silly things yeah and, I've done it myself stub your toes on silly things and yeah. uh, if you can't see then properly you can't judge things properly then why would you wear bloody sandals? <laughs> yeah, I mean. yeah, that's yeah. it. Yeah, that's yeah. what you're saying, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. That's it. Yeah, I, d I did six months in Bosnia, and the last two weeks on my second tour, I um, stepped out of a Saxon, and it was just an inch step. Yeah. And I twist, I, I tore my ligament in my oh. ankle. I was in agony, and I, in the end, I had to carry all my gear back. When I flew back in two weeks later, and this, and with one leg, one good leg, and one, or one good foot, and one bad one, and it was pre it was pretty crazy, you know. But I had to. Yeah. And that's this, the thing. this, what I'm saying is, it's so easy. There's it bumps is, coming up. It's easily done. So you make sure your footing's already there. You've got the so you've got two points of contact and then you always make sure you put them There's a big bank coming up, you there want to is. go to the right hand side. Okay. Yeah, and there's a... There. <laughs> Mother Earth. It's, uh... And there's a stone in the... Ooh. And we're up. Yeah, and it's all right now. There you go. Yeah, don't look too much at the view. Or if you're going to look yeah. at the view, make sure you stand still. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's it. You know, yeah. because you've got to concentrate on what you're doing, and that's for sighted people as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah I do. I do that. Yeah. <laughs> Plenty of times I've not stood still and looked at if you and fallen over. Yeah, yeah or ne nearly fallen over. That's it. Yeah. The thing is, you know, I, I, I'm not in a very good condition because of our like injuries and, and 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 being a bit poorly. And if I fall over, then it really hurts, and it takes a huge amount of effort to get back up again. And uh, yeah. I don't want to be doing that out here. Yeah. And I don't think Andy could haul me up if I was doing that. Oh, I, I might be able to. Is your, is your rucksack all right, is it? Yeah, yeah. Okay. It's, uh, it's actually not too big. It's a really lightweight one. And um, I'm quite glad about yeah, that. Yeah, it's all straight and stuff. Yeah. Old tickety-boo. Yeah. It looks a bit... Well, it's, it might be a seat that's wonking over a bit because of your, oh, yeah. your roll mat. I mean, oh, this orange thing on the edge. It doesn't feel unbalanced to me. Yeah, all right then. Yeah, it's, it's all right. It looks Is on it, you. It could, be, it could be leaning over to the left side, but that's okay. It looks, it looks like it, but as long as you're all right. Yeah, because I take most of the weight on the left anyway, because uh, 
of me right knee. Yeah. So that's my new knee. Okay. Bionic woman. Yeah, bloody hell. New knee, new there you back. Go. Ooh. <laughs> new life. New life, why not? Yeah. Ooh. All I need is new eyes now. That'd be <laughs> yeah. good, wouldn't it? Yeah. Yeah, I don't know what I'm doing here. I'm, I'm, I'm 56 in a couple of days. I'm, I was only 18 a couple of months ago. Yeah, yeah, where's the time gone? <laughs> yeah. You sound you sound just like an old person, Andy. <laughs> yeah, oh cheers. <laughs> <laughs> well that's where's the time gone? Yeah, yeah I can remember my grandma saying things like that. And 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 you sort of like think at the beginning of the year I've got an old year to do something, and then all of a sudden it's December again. You think what happened to all that time in between? Yeah. But if you think back to all the things you've done, you know, you could be stuck indoors doing nothing. Or you could be out there doing something like this. Yeah. It's only a small amount of kilometres. But, you know, the point is get out and have a bit of an adventure. Yeah. Don't stay yeah. stuck at home thinking you can't. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Get a bit of information on it. And have somebody you trust. That's the thing, you know, as Andy and I have known each other a long, long time. And, yeah. and my husband Woody trusts him implicitly to look after me. Well, we got a special bond because we've done time in Breakaway Survival School. And, that's right. And we just sort of uh, bonded under. Well, Grown up together. arduous conditions, right? more, more or less. I mean, yeah. I, I, was, well, I was only just turned 30, so you know, I mean, yeah. that's that's moons ago, isn't it? Yeah, moons ago. What we got? Okay. Oh, yes, steps coming up, big old rocks. I'm gonna go to the right of it. Wait, you can go any side if you want, really. Which way? You tell me. Uh, I go to the right, yeah. That's another thing. If you're unsure, ask your guide. You know? Yeah. And oh, you're you... following me? Yeah, I am. I'm following <laughs> okay. you. Because yeah. uh, you said go to the right. Yeah. <laughs> so, so I did. I didn't say how much, so that's. I never. <laughs> yeah. yeah you know. There you go. There's a rock there. You're just getting over it. Steps. Yeah. Not Next really. one's alright. This is like the bones of the hill, isn't it? Yeah. That's it, you've got it. Ooh. It's not actually that steep, is it? Uh, yeah. <laughs> no, but this, <laughs> this bit isn't. No, no. It's quite a gentle climb. Yeah, you know? that's right. So that's not too bad. Yeah. It's not like. I thought it was going to be really, really steep. Yeah. Things are going to look worse further away, can't they? Yeah. When you get closer. Let's and, turn, uh, turn around and have a look. Where have we, where have we come from? So. Somewhere out there. Somewhere out there. That's quite a way down, isn't it? Somewhere out there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. See, the thing is, I also. If we get, if something happens to Andy, I want to know how to get help. But this is good so far. I've just got to yeah. kind of work it out. So I've got my whistle. Yeah. I've got a phone. Do you reckon you could get back to that farmhouse on your own? I'd I'd have to use the bridge. Yeah. Once I got over the bridge, I might be slightly disorientated because I'm not sure which way. So straight down, straight down, just over straight the bridge, down, yeah. and the, the farmhouse is on the right. As yeah. soon as you get the car park, it's there. Yeah, but you see, I'd probably stop every few minutes and blow me whistle. Yeah, if anybody, yeah, uh, yeah, and it's, that's going to carry. Yeah, and I will have used the phone as well if I've got a signal here. So I could probably do this. Very slowly, yeah. But hopefully, somebody would hear the whistle. You know. Yeah. I always carry a whistle when I'm walking out in the forest. You know, in my where yeah. I come from. Um. I always carry the whistle with me. 
you know, because that's the, you don't get phone signal in a forest. Yeah. It's just non-existent. But uh, here, you know, you might, I might just might just be able to because the military use it as well. You see, so. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Right. Okay. Uh, follow me. Okay. I'll follow you. And it's a bit bumpy. So tread where you tread. And go nice and slow. Right. There you go. Right. And as you're walking backwards, I assume it's okay. Uh, well, <laughs> <laughs> no. no. It's a big step there. Eh? <laughs> right. <laughs> follow me. I'll follow you then. <laughs> yeah. This way. Bit of a step up where I am now. Yeah, okay. So there you go. That's good. That's a really smooth path. On yeah, the yeah, it's lovely, isn't it? Un, un... Do you think it's because it's been dry weather? No, it's probably because of loads of people. I, I should imagine the farmer cut it out or something. Yeah. Plus loads of people coming up. Yeah. Because it doesn't look that eroded. It just looks cut, you know, like sheared. Yeah, yeah. I, I've spit a sheet use it, don't I? Yeah, I, I thought it's too it's too good to be a sheep track. I think I reckon it's a bit it's wide been, for a sheep track, yeah, isn't it? Very, yeah. yeah. I would say it was a bit of a that's it. Uh I would say the farmer might have cut this out, yeah. or the National Trust, or whoever owns this this land, you know, for walkers. Well, it's very pleasant of them, isn't it? Yeah. Nice. Maybe the Ramblers Association people done it. They do stuff like that, don't they? Yeah, because on Penny Van, it's um, the tracks as wide as this, but it's all um, it's all worn away. You yeah, know, it's really, really worn away. Yeah, loads there's no of... grass left on it, which is what makes me look like this has been perhaps the bracken's been cut back and the sheep have just mowed the grass off. Yeah, you know, yeah, and the walkers have done the rest. Yeah, because it's not like there's water channels are going up to Penavan yeah. as well. Yeah, but it's not like it's not like soil erosion, you know. No, oh, we're doing all right actually, so good. <laughs> Yeah. I think my ears have popped because I've gone up and <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> you see, unlike last time, there's no bump shaped rocks to sit on. Yeah. There's one by there. You wanna oh. sit down? Yeah, that's a It's a little bit so it's, it's as good as you're gonna get around here, I okay, think. Okay, that'll do then. Got it. That way down. Oh, that's it. Oh. <laughs> there you go. Right, I'm going to have a sit down as well now. <laughs> oh, it's um, the Devil's Coach Horse. Devil's Coach Horse? Yeah, I think that's what it is. Isn't it? Yeah, I've never seen one of them before. I probably not focused in properly. Going to be in so close. So if it's got, it, it, it might what it might be is curl. It's uh, it's it's a uh, tail bit. It did, round. yeah. Curl it round so it like puts up like a scorpion. Yeah. If it does that. It's a, it probably is a devil's coach horse. It was stuck up, but it's gone down now. Yeah. But it's really jet black, yeah? Yeah, jet black, yeah. Mm. Oh, there I you are. I think it could be one of those then. Yeah. So, yeah. Oh. Are we doing all right? 200 meters. 200 meters, really? Well, in distance, oh, not in height. <laughs> Two, yeah, 200 meters in distance, something okay, like that. I think 
cope with that. Yeah, <laughs> it doesn't look like that. 200 metres in height. <laughs> yeah, no, no. We'll, we'll be going home then. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it won't look like that on this camera because it's uh, it's defaults to fade out. Okay. Which uh, all right? Uh, left. You're starting to get a bit steeper now. Yeah, just a bit. Yeah, you're all right. I'm catching. I'm carrying about six liters of water, <laughs> seven liters of water. <laughs> yeah. That's it. We can have a wash tonight then. I'm retiring <laughs> in a flipping ten or eleven years' time. Like you know, I'm not a young chap. <laughs> yeah. Well, flipping now, I would have retired next year if it hadn't been for the retirement age coming up. Yeah. But uh, all right, that was seven years to go you think yeah, <laughs> yeah. it's all right for some isn't it yeah, yeah. paid into i've just paid into my pension and if i live till i'm 70 i'll only have three years to enjoy it yeah. so i might as well do it now i'm glad the sun's behind us that's good yeah that means that we'll be in the morning, it'll be the other side as well, so that's good. So we're not going to be. Yeah, it'll be behind the us. Sun. Yeah. That's good. Just right. No good going out in the bright sunlight. Everything goes black and white. Yeah. I think I'm going to shut up now because I'm going to have a seizure otherwise. All right. Yeah. All right, Dio. Signing off for a while. <laughs> Yeah, can you see it now? Yeah. It's not far away really. Yeah. Is there a path all the way up? I didn't go all the way up, okay. but I should imagine there is. Okay. Couple of couple of little footholds coming up. Map is Brat Tour. It's quite spectacular. Yeah, it's just different, isn't it? It is. It's lovely. I love the way these rocks sort of. You can see the, the layers of the, of the rocks. Yeah. The way we've sculpted them. It's absolutely beautiful. Yeah. It's, uh, it's, it's It really contrasts with all the surrounds about it. You know, the sky and the grass. So it makes it really visible. It's good. Yeah. There, there we go. go. Let's get up there. Right, okay. I'm we going are, straight ahead. Then. Yeah, straight ahead. Can you see them steps just about?
sure you're comfortable now. Right, we're going this way. Uh, up. Can you see my hat arm? Straight ahead now. No, sorry, no, you, the way you were pointing. Straight over, yeah, that's it. gonna go see my arm right okay okay so do you want me to go in front right what I want you to do is hold that yeah so I hold the air. you I'm gonna hold by the ball right you okay front, so right there's a slope two sloping uh rocks Got it. Okay. Right. We're going to go through this gap now. It's about shoulder width. Right. Big steps up. Big steps. Yeah. yeah. So I'll let go of the. Yeah. I'll let go of this. All right. So I can get up. Can you see my? Yeah. Okay. Feet together by here, and then big step up. Right, my left hand is on on this rock okay. where I am. All right, push up, foot by there, right, use my elbows. Oh, nice. and then a big st step up again. Try and get your two feet eventually on this next one. Straight. All right. Do you want to follow me? Yeah. Right, I'm going to step to the right now just to keep away from that slope. If you could do this. Yeah. All right, and uh, we're sort of two meters away from it. So there you go. It's sort of okay now. Can you see it? Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Fantastic. Yeah. You've done it. I did. If you can do it, others. Others can. But it's very clement weather conditions. Yeah. I got to get close because I I might not be able to hear you. Oh, right. It's been good weather conditions, so it was easier than I thought it was going to be, but we've got to get down yet. <laughs> so, yeah. yeah. Now I'm going to uh, have a bit of a rest and try not to have a heart attack thinking about going down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. They're right underneath it now. Widgety, Widgety Cross on Brattor. There you go. Happy days. Happy days. Right, there's my cup of tea on the go. And there's the typical English lady in the countryside. <laughs> Very much so. Yeah, right? look at all that. All, all the kit. Yeah, all the kit. Take his blanket out yeah. and everything. But you carried it and that's it, innit? For sure, yeah. So, yeah. So, I know, I carried my chair all the way up here so I could have a bit of comfort. Yeah. And, and Andy didn't have to haul me off the ground. Yeah. So it's been, it's been really good actually. Yeah. I, I, I'm really, uh, I'm really pleased that I made it and I didn't find it as difficult as I thought I was going to, you know, yeah. do. So, and, and we got up to the, the actual tour, which was very, that was quite hard. But, uh, and now we're just sort of camping in a hollow on the almost on the path the path 100 meters over there on the way yeah, down yeah so, you know 
putting the tent up. Um, I could have done it by myself, but Andy did help. Read the instructions. Yes, uh, <laughs> uh, a bit amateurish, am amateurish yeah. reading instructions in the wind. Yeah, we're supposed to be experts yeah. and experienced. Yeah, well, you know, <laughs> I, I mean, I, I, this is this is a terrible thing to admit, but I sort of like I was um and ahhing about whether I should come today or whether I should do this. You know, because I'm not, I'm not really. I didn't think I was really up to it, and there's a severe lack of confidence. Yeah. So I only packed the tent this morning. <laughs> there's an ambition for you. Yeah. So, yeah. so that, but, but I'm really glad that I did. And this is yeah. the thing: if you haven't got, you know, if you you're lacking in confidence, we all we're all like it. But if you don't ever try, you're never you're never ever going to know whether you can or not. And that's the thing: you just got to give it a go, because Andy doesn't mind if we had to turn back we had to turn back yeah he's always very very safety conscious yeah you know and and we both are we're both experienced enough to know it that's it it's got to be safety yeah. first but you've just got to have that little bit of confidence to push yourself that little bit further and then you get to sit out here watching the sunset and just that's it yeah life yeah and have a beautiful evening and i'm not going to nick any of andy's tea yeah, <laughs> you can have a slurp. I, I've, actually, I've actually done an amateurish, amateur, amateurish thing myself. I've uh, I, it's saying low battery. Right. I should have changed the battery before I done this. Oh well. And anyway, I'm going to turn it off and change the battery. Right. So I was just saying to Andy, you know, we were talking about going through the kit and and, and things like that. And I said, well, actually, for me, the video is about how to manage as a, a, a sort of disabled person, you know, some, somebody with physical and, and visual impairments and, uh, and how, how you overcome the mental side of it, thinking no you can't, and how you overcome the physical difficulties of, of, of uh, getting over and getting out on this train. You do need somebody, I need, I wouldn't be able to do this without Andy. Or without somebody like him, you know, and and he, he's good enough to help me. And if 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 this means that one person just thinks, yeah, I could do that. Me and my friend so and so could do that. You know, we could try this. We could try it just walking around the park. You know, setting up a tent together. And 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 if you if you if you have that sort of urge to get out, you know, don't sit at home and wish for things and and not bother to try them. It's really important that you just give it a little go. And it doesn't matter if it don't work. What have you got to lose? You're just the same as you were before, but you've tried something different and you might have a wonderful experience. You could have a really awful time, but you know, <laughs> you might have a really wonderful experience. <laughs> and, but you might never want to do it again, just the once, just to say yeah. you've done it. Yeah, and that's, that's right, yeah. You know, yeah. as long as you're not sitting there wishing for something and not doing it you've got to give it a try and that's what this yeah. video is about you know yeah so, yeah so it's not about kit really no you've got to have something but you know yeah, you, i you mean know. our philosophies years ago especially in breakaway was it's not the kit it's the person behind the kit yeah so you you know you 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 get by with you know, rubbish kit, but it's the quality of the person behind it. That's it. You and, know, and if you're wearing something, you know, you just got to be warm and dry. And, and, and this is a this is a, a packer mat. You know, it's, it's, it 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 keep, it's definitely it makes I sweat in it, but it definitely keeps me dry. Yeah. You know, it's nothing, and it doesn't matter if I rip it. You know, or and and all the clothes I've got on uh, are ancient. Really yeah. ancient. They're yeah. like actually over twenty years old. A lot of the clothes that I'm wearing. So, <laughs> <laughs> but they are because this is my dad's shirt, you know. So, so and uh, Farmer shirt. yeah, and, and and the old Ronnie Hills and things like that. Yeah. So, yeah, it doesn't matter what you wear as long as you're comfortable in it. Yeah, and and it's something you're used to. You know, don't go out and buy yourself new boots and then wear them because they can be really uncomfortable. I'm still wearing my my work boots with a lovely lovely pink boot laces. Yeah, I wear them in work. Yeah, that's it. Exactly that's like that. And, and Not pink laces, mine. No. <laughs> <laughs> so, so you wear what you're comfortable with 
and you use what you're used to using. Practice with it. You know, imagine you're doing it. You put your tent up in the park or in the garden. Get somebody to help you. Mm. You know, that's what you do. So, it's yeah, that's it. Uh, and, and Take uh, the labels off. Yeah, you just sort of like carry the use something that's comfortable to carry something that's light you know yeah. and, and and that as long as you're used to it and you can carry it but if you practice walking around with things and carrying things and and going over obstacles with people then you're going to be yeah. all right it takes a bit of training to come up here doesn't it, it does. but it is very simple training yeah. i mean i've been doing walking around with my son joe and and my husband woody i've been walking going on walks in the woods and 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 uh, and, and training for this for i've been walking 10k on the flat you know in the streets by myself and then i go out in the woods where it's a bit more difficult and i'm gradually getting used to it again i'm getting used to the way my feet are, are falling and you will you'll get you know if you if you've been a walker in the past you'll get to use you'll still feel the same when you're out here yeah it comes back it, it? It come, it's like riding a bike yeah you know it comes back and and you get out here and you do it you, it might you might not be as fast it might not be as comfortable and you might not find things as easy but you still got it there and you can yeah. continue doing it in small bites you yeah. know so don't overstretch yourself that's it you know don't be over ambitious and uh, yeah. be safe oh yeah that's that's those yeah. are the things and have somebody with you that you can implicitly trust that's it somebody who's not gonna you know somebody who's not gonna be silly so that's, yeah. Uh, yeah yeah exactly that's the yeah. other that's the other thing you know and if you are silly then stop being silly yeah exactly. you. Yeah, you can't. You have fun, yeah. But have fun, but you, you don't want to take any risks at all. No, no. It's just not worth it. So. Right, okay. I'll just show people what you've got in your tent. I'm not going to name it. Oh, look at the bloody state of that. I've seen smarter tramps. Oh. <laughs> and here's mine. I'm not going to go through it. We've all seen it before. I've shown my gear in detail in... Uh, other videos so there you go the usual stuff so i'm not going to go into it because i i do believe still in the philosophy of um the person behind the kit yeah you know you can put a rag over someone a bit of string mm. you know whatever crap boots i mean look at your boots man. i wear them to work i never wear them up here but you they're know, comfortable. Yeah, it's good for you, isn't it? Mm -hmm. It wouldn't be and, good for and, me. And they're relatively waterproof as well, you know. Yeah. To uh, give them value of waterproof. Yeah. And, and they'll dry out on a day like yeah. this. And you've got sort of wool socks anyway. Yeah, I've got, I've got the old uh, Thermal HJs. They're army surplus socks. Yeah, so, yeah, we, I got the same. And, 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 uh, and, and I wear them. I've worn them for work for as long as I can remember. Yeah, I wear them to work in the winter as well. That's it. And I wear them all year round. Yeah. You know, just take them off at night, soak me feet. <laughs> very nice, thank you very much. <laughs> but that's it. Yeah. So Yeah, I've gotta get close because I don't wanna I wanna be able to hear you. Mm. Yeah. Not that, like the last one, I couldn't couldn't but, hear but, something. You know, as far as, as kit goes, I say you've got to be functional, comfortable and, and, and you've got to be used to it. So, you know, when I'm I pack my bag in the same way as I've always done. You know, I know where things are, and I've done that for 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 as long as I can remember. Yeah. So even when I even when I go out to the shops, I've still got certain things in certain places yeah. in my, in the bag I carry to the shops. Yeah. So you you can get bogged down with kit as well. Yeah. I've I've done that. Yeah. I mean, Andy's you know? carrying all the safety kit this time around. Yeah. I mean, so, yeah. I we're using my cooker only yeah and we've really cut your weight down and that's we? it because yeah. i couldn't carry it otherwise yeah so that, that's the yeah. other thing and and you can do that if you're going away you can share the weight with other people you know mm. and and the stronger ones carry the weight this is it this is how it goes you yeah know? and 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 then andy can rely on my expertise for things <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> Right, okay, uh, I'm gonna have my cup of tea now and then we'll uh, shut off. Oh, it's boiling, look at that.
Okay. We'll see you in the morning. In the morning. Night night. Good night. <laughs> Good night. It's raining. <laughs> oh, it stopped, stopped raining now, luck, lucky Thank enough. Goodness. Yeah. Yeah. But it didn't rain much in the night, but uh, there was just. I don't know, did you hear that booming in the night? I'm not sure, really. Oh. Um, I don't know. I, 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 oh, God, surely they can't be, you know, on a, on a Saturday night. Yeah. On the ranges, those poor sods out there. But. Uh, Oh, pardon me. <laughs> you can't put that in. It's going on. <laughs> oh, thank you very much. <laughs> well, there you go. You can tell what I'm going to do next, can't you? <laughs> oh, uh, there you go. Yeah, well, I'll leave you to it and we'll sort ourselves out, have breakfast, have a wash, and get the tents down, and then a, a final thing, and a yeah. Yeah, there you go. Right. Okay. Oh, breakfast down there. Oh, lovely. Lovely filling, is it? Uh, it's, it's a bit more in there. Oh, right. Oh, that's that, see? That's one oh, part. Oh, cereal, yeah. And that's the other part. Oh, you got more meat. That's quite. That's pretty good. Yeah. And then in the top, I've got crackers and whatnot for for lunch, and I've got some peanuts. Oh, so. nice one. Yeah. But I don't have milk in my cereal. I just I always have just fruit juice. Yeah. It's, uh, don't need it. I think it, I think the milk just makes it taste all right. Rather have the yeah. fruit. I don't think milk really goes with the fruit, you know, it makes it no. like uh, it curdles, that's the word I'm looking for. Yeah. Right. yeah. That's it, and then I sit here in my chair with my waterproof trousers on and eat my breakfast. Yeah, it's starting to rain again. I don't think it'll rain much. No, but Yeah, and there's mine. And there's the water boiling, get in there, there's the brew kit, so yeah, there you go, well it's, we'll have breakfast and then put the, put the tent down, have a little wash, and have a final say I suppose, whatever you want to say. <laughs> oh look, the professional caught. is struggling. Yeah. <laughs> Was that two fingers there? No, 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 nothing like that. <laughs> two fingers to the nation. <laughs> it's a victory sign. Oh, is it the, <laughs> victory, it's, what, okay. it's what the archers used to do. Uh, uh, or, the, or the enemy used to do the archers, isn't it? The French British used to do to the French archers, that signal. Yeah. That's where that comes from. There's another one and I'm not going to do that. Okay. Oh, well, we'll have breakfast then. <laughs> sort ourselves out and uh, we'll have to take it really easy going back or the rocks will be slippy yeah. I suppose won't they there won't be and, too and many it's, of them it's the wet grass that's, that's yeah quite you'll probably have to yeah. hang on to me all the way yeah maybe okay, you I, know. I, we, we did it last night when we were going up to the coming down here I was just hanging on to the back of Andy's burgers because I was just getting really tired so I can feel when he steps down and, and uh, you know, when you get fatigued, you either, s you, you, you look for somewhere to stop, which was exactly what we were doing. We were just looking for somewhere to stop. And I was just hanging onto the back of his burger and using my, my stick with the other hand. And that way I had sort of like almost four points of contact all the time. So it was yeah. uh, pretty good. I'm gonna get my yeah. trousers on now. Yeah, and I'm gonna get, get my, wet. yeah, I'm gonna get mine on as well. So I'll leave it at that for now. Knocked a rucksack over. Mm. <laughs> Who did that? Was me? <laughs> right, I'm getting me trousers on. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
the joys of the morning, isn't it? Mm, grump, grump, lump, lump. <laughs> Nearly done. Yeah, the nice thing is I managed to put the tent up almost by myself, but I certainly managed to get it down by myself. Yeah. If I can fit it back in the bag. You could probably do it on your own. I think I think that's a possibility. Yeah. Which is a really nice sense of freedom, that. Yeah. Because if I can find get dropped off somewhere safe, then I know I can have a night on my own sort of thing. Yeah, the whole trip is a sense of freedom, really, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. yeah, all of it, as much as you can possibly achieve, that's a sense of a sense of freedom, isn't it? Yeah. And it's the same with me as well, or anybody. Is it? You can get, you know, because Andy's good enough to, he knows when to leave me alone, and I know when to leave him alone. Yeah. So it's so I can get that sense of solitariness or solitude, you know, and yeah. I quite like that. That's what I miss. You know, there's always somebody around which is great you know it's really useful and i need it but um i like to i still like to be on my own i always used to like to walk on my own camp on my own yeah and do those those kind of things on my own so i can get that because we know when to leave each other alone yeah so yeah that's it yeah. Well, the more I leave you alone, the more I can get on with my stuff. Exactly. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Don't need to be. You know. I, I. I. sometimes feel that because of the white cane, people tend to fuss over much. But sometimes I need it, especially if you see somebody with a white cane trying to cross the road, help them across the road, especially with these new electric cars. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. One step out and bang. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And it, and here's mine, all, almost done. So, uh, and it's been raining on and off and the mist is coming in, so we'll get going in a minute, I should imagine. Right, I'm all packed. Lisa's all packed. Anything you want to say? That's it. This you've, is coming down, ready to go. Yeah, you said it all on the way up, didn't you, yeah, really? It, yeah, I did. That's yeah. It. I mean, it's easier, it's, it's easier to go down a shallower slope than it is to go down a steep slope. So yeah. if, that, if that's an option, that's exactly what we're doing now. Yeah. So we're going down a shallower way, you know, a not so steep way, because going down steep slopes, that's dangerous. Well, one slip and you'll tumble downwards because you're it. facing downwards, I yeah, suppose, isn't that's it? it. And, and gravity aids your fall. Yeah. Whereas on the shallow slope, I've got more chance of staying upright. So yeah. that's it. And that's the same for everybody. It doesn't matter whether mm. you're a VI person or not. So that's what, exactly what we're doing. We chose now route carefully. Plenty. Yeah. There you go. So <laughs> that leaves me to say like, share, subscribe. <laughs> if you dare. And uh, see you around. <laughs>